Hey friends, I'm Rhiannon from Drawn by Rhiannon and today I wanted to share with you the ways that I tried to make my business as eco-friendly as possible. For those of you that either know of me personally or have sort of been aware of my brand for a while, you'll know that I'm very interested in like saving the environment, trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. So it's something that I really wanted to like bring through to the business. So you probably know that I have the reusable range, so that is something that I started probably about four years ago now, maybe even longer than that. Um, and I remember when I first started doing reusable items, because they started with the reusable beeswax wraps, People didn't really know what they were, they were very unconvinced by them, even sort of if they had heard of them. But it's been so lovely over those past few years as I've developed the reusable range, just seeing how people are so much more receptive to it now, people are just so much more interested in saving the environment. And it's just so lovely to see, it really is. But I wanted to share the sort of other kind of behind the scenes things that you might not know that go into being as eco-friendly as possible at Drawn by Rhiannon. So first things first is the fabric. So I'm hoping by now that you know that I design all my fabric myself and I obviously I don't print it myself because fabric printing machines are tens if not hundreds of thousands of pounds but I do get it all printed within the UK so that really limits my choice because a lot of printing companies are outside the UK or even outside of Europe but I wanted to keep it all within the UK just to reduce those transport costs and obviously to help support British business as well so this was trial and error for years I, I think I went through about six different fabric printing companies before I found the one that I'm happy with. Another great thing about digital fabric printing is that it uses way less energy than screen printing. It's something like, I think it's like 95% less energy. And there's also, you don't have all the sort of runoff waste that you have from screen printing. So there's like no chemicals going into it and there's like hardly any residue left from it at all. So it is so much better for the environment. Um, and I was really pleased to discover that. One improvement that I'm really working on for the fabric is that I would love to move everything over to organic cotton. The only issue with that is that I have yet to find like an organic cotton base that is suitable for my prints like because they're all kind of either it's the wrong fabric or they're kind of like tinted so everything is sort of like hazy almost like I've had a few test prints and I'm just I'm not happy with it so that is something that going forward I'm really wanting to move everything over to organic cotton but we will see how it goes. Just another note on fabric as well, I also use the bamboo for in the cleaning wipes and bamboo is just, I mean it's just an amazing thing isn't it, it's so sustainable, it grows so fast and yes I'm really pleased to be able to use that rather than like wool or anything inside the cleaning wipes. So as well as the printed fabric being sourced from within the UK, I also get all of my lining fabrics and all my bamboo and cotton toweling from local suppliers. So they're from two different fabric shops that I use locally, which are about within five miles of the studio. So we're keeping it very nice and local and again, supporting local businesses, which we are all about. <laughs> I always try to produce as little waste as possible. So if you saw my video on how to get custom printed fabric, you'll see that I arranged the print files so that it it sort of maximizes the space so we're having as little waste as possible. The only waste that I get from the fabric is literally the edges because they can't print right to the edge of the fabrics like it might miss a bit off so you've got to have this little sort of allowance around the side. With all that fabric that is cut off that all goes into the recycling bin that I've got in the workshop and then when that gets full then I take that down to the textile recycling place so then that all gets a new life as well. Next up is packaging. So my packaging that I use for my products, I print it all here at home on my printer and it's all printed on recycled paper. The envelopes that I use for the beeswax wraps, they are made of recycled paper and then the labels that I print on, print onto this paper, it weighs an absolute ton, but it's 100% recycled paper, which is fantastic. And then obviously when you're finished with the packaging, if you don't want to keep it in that, you can just put it straight in the recycling as well. So it's all 100% plastic free, 
it's all easily recyclable at home. When you order something off the website and you have it delivered to you, obviously that is all plastic free as well. So your items either get wrapped in a paper bag or in tissue paper and then put in a cardboard mailing box and sealed with paper tape. And similarly at markets, there's no plastic there either. We just use the paper bags, which are really nice if you wanted to gift something, you can give it to them in the bag like this. You can reuse it because they're quite tough. And then when they're sort of done with their life, just pop them in the recycling. Finally, very excitedly earlier this year I managed to get some solar panels installed via a government grant so now my studio my home everything is all powered by solar panels which is absolutely brilliant so that is the environmental policies at Drawnberry Annan. If you would like to know more about any of these, I'll drop a link down below that leads to the website that goes into much more detail about everything. Or if you have any questions at all, then just drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to talk you through anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. And if you haven't already, it would be lovely if you could subscribe to my channel. Click here to subscribe and click here for another video. I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.